Before this, we have learned that uh, human nervous system consists of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. And for the central nervous system, we have the brain and the spinal cord. Now, for the brains, there are a few things that we need to know in our syllabus. Um, for example, we need to know the structure and functions of the brain. Uh, for example, what is cerebrums, what is cerebellums, and what is all blown gathers of the brain. You need to know the name and you need to know the function. And we also need to know the two types of actions, the voluntary actions and the involuntary actions. Um, and the last thing that you need to know about the brain is the cause or the effects of injury. Okay, for example, injuries of the cerebellums will cause what? And what will happen if the injuries of medulla oblong gathers or the cerebrums? Eh? Okay, so that is the, the effect of injury. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> let's start with the structures and functions of the brain. We can divide the brain into three uh, main structures. The first one is called the uh, cerebrum. Okay, this is the big one. Okay, the big brain here. This is the cerebrum. And then we have cerebellums. Okay, we have a small brain here. Okay, small part here. This is called a cerebellum. And then uh, we also have a small... Uh, structure here is called the medulla oblongata. Okay, the functions of this tree part of the brain is very different actually. For cerebrums, the function is memory, thinking, and voluntary action. Okay, and for a cerebellum, is for a movement, balance, posture, and medulla oblongata is for involuntary actions such as heartbeat, breathing, and peristalsis. Okay. So cerebrum is for uh, thinking, okay? Memory thinking, uh, voluntary actions, and also sensations, sensory, okay? And cerebellum is for movement and balance, and uh, medulla oblongata is for involuntary actions. Huh? So these are the structures of the brain that you need to know and their functions, huh? and you need to know the name as well. Huh?